Hello there, I do not know how to start a video so I'm just going to start. Today we are doing an interview with uh, Under the Under the Sea Under the Sea I do not know how to pronounce his name. Simona Ciccioni, sound designer of Free Jam. Say hello. Hello. Under the Sea by the way. Okay. Like uh, <laughs> Under the Sea. Yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay, um I've announced this on Twitter a short time ago and now we're actually going to do this. Um, firstly, I'm going to ask you some questions about Royale sound design, Robocraft Royale. Then some general, uh, mostly Robocraft sound design questions. And then all the questions I got from the community, which are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. Very many. <laughs> wow, a lot. Wow. Firstly, uh, what was your goal with the environmental sounds? I've talked about that in my interview uh, feedback video about Royale already. So um, why exactly did you implement these environmental sounds like um, the wind blowing in the air when you're uh, up high like in the mountains or the waves on the shore? Uh, well, mm, what I ultimately wanted to do uh, was giving the environment some life actually and uh, by the way not well, giving also something more in terms of playability some difference in action so uh, i thought that if you want to play as a camper so standing on the top of a mountain you should have some disadvantage and so i introduced this wind sound that doesn't let you hear properly the other players um, th this is what what I proposed to our game designer, and he was enthusiastic of this. So, but the the community wasn't so enthusiastic just because they couldn't hear the other players. So, I I had to lower to drop the volume of, of that uh, in in the end. And uh, well, okay. Anyhow, this is this is what what I wanted to do, and you do this by creating. Uh, small collision boxes and associating sounds to them in unity because we use unity and we we also did a very interesting if you if you like the the, the subject post on our de developer blog so yeah i was just going to I, mention I, that you talked about how you did it already but like i honestly yeah. like, i honestly didn't even think of the idea of it being against camping like that's actually viewing it from a completely different perspective. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. I wanted to to add uh, um, something for playability, so the players who are into action actually can hear better the other players. The ones that that want to camp uh, have a sense less, which is the the audio. Uh, maybe you could change it a little then, but for, because for example, if you push over a mountain, like um, for example. Say you're in on one side of a mountain and the zone is on the other side, so you on the far side of the mountain, so you have to push over it. That actually puts you at a disadvantage if you want the action of pushing over the mountain, which is riskier because um, there's a might be a guy up front who has the high ground then and such. So um, wouldn't it be an idea to um, the, for these sounds to just play if you are on inside this hitbox, so to, say, so to speak? For a while already, like for example, if you are in if you are in a mountain box for 20 seconds, then the um, wind sound slowly starts to play or something. Which is something. It's a very good idea. I will surely, surely do it in the next release of the game. I can I can give a delay time of the of the sound uh, to to the sound to play. And it's it's a very nice suggestion. Thank you for, for telling me. I will do it. Okay. Um, and by the way, how did your personal taste of sound or generally music uh, influence influence Robocraft Royale sound design? Well, <laughs> this is a very difficult question because actually you have to balance what are your personal tastes to what uh, works better for the game. Um, I I try to never lose focus about what what can work better for the game. 
So I, I try not to be influenced by my own tastes. But ultimately, if you don't put your own, your own mark into what you do, uh, your, your work can be done by an, an, an AI. So I, I, try, I try to balance both of, of these things. Uh, by the way, uh, for regarding the, the audio, the sounds, the, the, sound, the sound effects, I really appreciated the sound effects of the last latest Halo. So I always try to achieve that, that kind of excellence. And for the music, the, the, the topic is much broader. So obviously there are many influences in my formation, and, but uh, being it a royal game, there is no music in, in, in game. So I just put my, my own vision in the, in the front end and in the deploying, deploying sequence, actually. Yeah, um, can you give a particular example of where your uh, personal taste actually influenced one of the sounds you created? Well, um, most of the sounds, for example, are uh, formed by a synthesizer part and a mechanical part, which are basically two different kind of samples. And, and, and this is what has been done for, for the latest Halo. And actually, for example, when, when you shoot with the plasma, you can clearly hear uh, an explosion and below there is a synthesizer sound giving more punch to, to this explosion. Or, uh, well, basically in, in all the, the, the sounds of the, of the weapons and also of the, of the moving parts, uh, if you if you notice in the in the sound of the, of the uh, sprinter legs, there are the, the footsteps and there is a, a synth engine. Uh, so everything is is done with this uh, with this in mind, merging uh, mechanical sounds and synthesizer sound, which is what has been has been done actually in Halo. Okay, um, and could you describe? Like you nearly did that already, but could you describe the progress of creating the sound of an average Robocraft or Robocraft Royale gun? Like, how do you actually make that? Uh, uh, well, actually, you start with an idea and then you you try to pursue it until until you you manage to do it. Uh, I wouldn't know how to describe it. It's basically basically trying, trying a lot of solutions until it works. And I always remember when I did the sound of the Aeroflux. Uh, we had the release planned uh, for two days after a lockdown, and the lockdown was. I don't remember the, the, the day, but it was, for example, uh, Tuesday at lunchtime. And I remember at 12, I didn't have a, a, a sound that I, that I liked yet. <laughs> after, after doing, I, I don't know, 10 or 15 different versions. And in the end, from, in that hour, from 12 to, to lunchtime, I managed to do a sound that I like, and that is the sound uh, that is now still in the in the arrow flag. And well, basically, I, I, I always talk about this as an example that you can work for days or weeks on a sound, and and I, I am quite a perfectionist. I I want it to be perfect or perfectly matching my idea or. Even if I got an idea, sometimes my, my first idea doesn't match the sound that, that is good for, for the weapon. So basically you have to try different solutions until, until you, you, you do the perfect thing or what, what sounds good for you, actually. And I meant like, um, how do you produce the sounds? Like for example, do you bo just boot up a synthesizer and then try to make that synthesizer do exactly what you want to do or 
Do you first try recre recreating your sound you want with the real things or whatever? Well, uh, most of the times I do some recordings of, of mechanical things that everyone can can find in, in his kitchen, for example, or metallic things, but this specifically for Robocraft, but you can do it for, for every, every kind of, of game or every kind of, of recording. Um, I record things that, that I got around me and then I, I try to, to give it more punch with a synthesizer. Um, I, I tend to use both these approaches and, and then I, I merge them in an in a audio file. The, these technically what, what I do, actually. So you basically do um, both sounds separately and then in the end combine it? Yeah, 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 most of the times, yes. But do you think of them as a combo while you do them or do you just think I'm gonna do a sound that fits it and I'm gonna do another sound that fits it but you don't like think of these as a combination or do you just combine them in your brain instantly? Well, sometimes it's enough just to record, sometimes it's enough just to do a synthesizer sound, but mm, trying them, you maybe you imagine some, some more punch. Uh, for example, for an for a impact sound, uh, most of the times it, it's useful to, for, to, to, to use um, a kick sound, a, a, an actual musical kick sound, or to, to give it more more impact, or I don't know. It, it actually depends. Depends on what you want, what you want to achieve, and it's it, it's based on on trying things, on experimenting, and and playing with sound. Uh, I, I am lucky because because I, I can. I can be creative in, in what I do, and, and it's nice. I most of the time, I I try to uh, to realize the idea I have, but sometimes this idea doesn't work. So uh, you you want to explore different di directions. Okay, um, and this is a completely different one. Like, what exactly do you do to the sound? Like, what happens to it when you go into a building? Um, I guess from what I've been playing, that there's a slight reverb added to stuff that happens inside uh, the building, and a low pass filter put on outside sounds. Is that all of it? Is that completely wrong, or did you add some other stuff to it? Okay, for the ones of you that aren't as familiar with sound design, I'll quickly explain this. If we have a simple saw wave like this and add reverberation to it, or reverb, um, it basically adds an echo to it, so normal sound, and with reverb enabled. Yeah. And a filter um, basically filters out frequencies, so if we have the cutoff on full, so it has literally, does not filter anything, it sounds like this. Without the reverb. And if we lower the cutoff, um, it sounds like this. Oh, thank you so much that you noticed these things. <laughs> I, I'm always happy when my, my job gets noticed. Actually, what, what you can do is, in Unity, is calling what in Unity is called a mixer snapshot. And and you can associate it to collision boxes, like the, the environmental sounds. What, what I very simply do in, with the collision boxes of the buildings is uh, calling um, a snapshot that uh, drops the volume of the environmental sound, applies a filter, um, a low pass filter, and adds some reverb to, to the listener, actually. And, and that's, that's it. Uh, so you have the illusion of being in a, in a metallic uh, garage, actually. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for noticing it. Um, yeah, I, I do basically this. Okay, so I guessed it correctly. I actually wasn't sure. Um, also, there's been a lot of thoughts about cave systems or things like that in the real... In the real map recently, 
and if they were implemented would you put the same effects onto the sound or would you change something to make it more cavier or something? Caves? I never saw caves in, in Robocraft Real. They aren't there yet, but um, they are thought about as of right now, at least there was a lot of tweeting about it. And if they were to be implemented, what would you, uh, what kind of effect would you apply to the sound? Yeah, something like that. There, there is already, a, there are already caves in Robocraft. And I, I did, I have done a, a prefab called uh, Cave Audio in Robocraft. If you, if you go into, into the caves, you can hear louder wind and, and, and reverb as well. Uh, yes, I would do something like that, yeah. Uh, actually, in normal Robocraft, I never noticed that. Uh, yes, it is in... Um, uh, the lake level. Uh, the one with a, with a cave uh, next to the Protonium crystal. How you mean, if uh, you... a future? Of oh, Fuchsius, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's 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 been a while I didn't play Robocraft actually. Sorry, but yeah, I think it's a Fuchsius Valley, and uh, yeah, there is a small cave with with snow. If you go inside that, you you can hear a louder wind and some reverb, and you can hear reverb even in the reactor of the uh, of the Earth map. Ah, the Birmingham Power Station, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same concept, actually. There, there, there are collision boxes, and if you enter the uh, the, the, the audio listener, uh, gets some effect on it. Yeah, that's actually interesting. That uh, that one, I thought that one was uh, programmed uh, just for Royale, but seems to be in Robocraft too. Then never knew. Um, yeah, yeah, there is, there is in Robocraft as well, but you hardly notice it because there is, there is the music in Robocraft. But, uh, coming back to creating sounds, uh, also many people thought about airdrops or megabots or something like that being implemented, like actually Sheepwielder himself talked about that um, for a while. Um, if that was implemented, like what kind of sound would you go for, for say um, the moment it gets dropped, like I think in Fortnite there is some sound when a airdrop comes down. Um, in Royale, Robocraft Royale, what sound effect would you put on that then? Surely the sound of the vanguard flying and, and deploying objects on the on the ground, and and something that calls you like like uh, I don't know if you notice the that the um, the pickups call call you. There are loops on ah, the pickups. Yeah. And something like that, actually. But like, um, the moment they're they're deployed, like, um, would there be some like punching or something, or just yeah, sure, they would be deployed sure, sure. without anything? No, no, there will be a, a very good impact sound, and <laughs> it depends on on how uh, they want to design the crate that's going to be deployed. If it's metal, if it's uh, energy if it's it depends on the on the material that, that, that I have to give a sound to okay and um, since we've heard from sheep weirder and some other people from free jump tweeting that uh, Robocraft Royale will actually be implemented into normal Robocraft um, will Royale's unique sound design things like the very loud mech legs or we just found out that they aren't unique, but the cave, um, no, not cave, but house, inside house effects, will they be ported over to normal Robocraft or will it take the settings from normal Robocraft? Uh, well, this is something we actually discussed about in the office, and I think that uh, all the job that has been done on Royale, which is much more than than the normal Robocraft, uh, well, the, the normal Robocraft can benefit from from the new things that are in the in the Robocraft Royale. So um, uh, it's not just these things. The the most important part is that 
the samples change with the distance in real, which is something that in Robocraft is not there. And this could be nice to to have in Robocraft as well. Okay, um, so did I get this right that um, real elements like the very heavy and loud Maglex did I get that right that they will be ported over to normal Robocraft or will Robocraft uh, keep its rather quiet Maclex? Uh, look, um, in Robocraft uh, the Maclex are way louder than in, uh, than in Royale, but you don't notice because there is the music. Uh... I, I, had, I had to drop the volume of the Maclex in, in Royale. <laughs> Because in in Robocraft they were they they are way louder, <laughs> and uh, you don't need to hear the others in in, in Robocraft, so they are not annoying. Uh, so uh, if I just applied what I've done in Royale to Robocraft, you wouldn't hear the the Mac legs sound anymore, um, or maybe even the 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 Sprinter legs. Are way, uh, are way quieter in 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 Royale than in Robocraft. Uh, actually, I've been playing Robocraft with music deactivated for gameplay purposes, and I don't think like it didn't. Maclex didn't feel louder in ro normal Robocraft. Might be because something weird happened to my ears, but I thought <laughs> they were louder in Royale. Well, actually. Uh... They are louder in the mix. Uh, you have to consider louder in the overall mix. Um, I have I have dropped many volumes for um, for Royale, and one of the of the sounds that I've dropped the volume of are, are the legs, because it, it, in the first place I used to play with the same volumes and they were way louder you couldn't hear anything else apart from your legs so even if it, it doesn't seem <laughs> trust me in robocraft the sounds are way louder than in robocraft oh yeah all all the sounds okay um then my last question about uh, robocraft royale would be that if you were to change only one more thing to robocraft royale sound design and then no more what would it be Ah, uh, just one thing changed on the audio Robocraft Royale. Uh, actually, I would change so many things. Decide <laughs> uh, for one. Just, just one. Let me, let me think. Oh, maybe yes. Yeah. Okay. I will. Uh, I would change the front end music. I would make it uh, longer. I and I would do a better integration of the music between the front end and the deploying sequence uh, I would like to do it just just one sequence actually we, and with the music as well uh, fading one into the other this is what I would like to do okay then let's uh, get to some um, more general questions uh, firstly um, what do you think in all the sounds you did for Robocraft or all Robocraft games, Infinity and uh, Royale 2, what, which one was the hardest to create or think up for you? Uh, well, uh, actually it was Robocraft Royale because it represented a new, uh, a new thing that I never did. Uh, but I wouldn't call it hard. It was a... Um, a challenge and I, I love challenges actually and, and it was very nice to work on that but surely it was something I never did until that that moment um, like which exact sound do you mean like I mean one single piece of music or sound effect no I mean uh, the uh, emulation of the 3d sound with uh, with the distance I never did something like that. I never did uh, samples that change uh, according to the distance of the sound being produced. Uh, so this, this is what I, I I had to design in my own mind and implement from scratch. 
And this is something Robocraft doesn't have actually. Okay. Uh... And, and this is a, a, has been applied to all the sounds in in Robocraft and put them in in, in Robocraft Royale. Okay, and uh, I think my microphone is having issues right now. Um, and the other question, I only thought of two questions about general sound design, is uh, which was the piece, or what, which one was the piece of music or the one sound effect you did that I, you are the most proud of? Not just Robocraft stuff, but generally in all the games you ever produced for. Uh, uh, well, there are some... There are some things I'm proud of. I I'm very proud of, of the uh, of the soundtrack of a game that is called Trigonon, uh, which was a science fiction puzzle game with with very relaxing music and all electronic music. And it, it was very good. If you want to check it, it's on YouTube and it's uh, in my opinion it's very nice. And um, uh, I, I am very proud of um, a soundtrack I did for a, a game called Kings, Kingsburg, which is set in the Middle Ages. So I had to study all the, all, all the music of the Middle Ages I, and I researched the instruments I used those same instruments. I used the the same way, they, the the same rules that they they applied for writing music back in those times. So it, it was very nice to study all these things for a for a for a soundtrack. And uh, another one I'm very proud of uh, is the soundtrack of a game called Vatican. In which I uh, recorded and wrote uh, an entire co co choir, so it was very nice to do that. Uh, did you do that using an actual choir? Choir like um, actually organized a choir, or did you uh, kind of do a synthesized fake choir? Uh, none of, of the two. Actually, I hired a female singer and I made her sing the two parts of the females uh, many times, so I doubled the, the vocals and I, I sang the parts of the male uh, many times. So we were just two, but I recorded uh, basically if, uh, just if we were a choir. So it's basically right in the middle between a fake choir and an actual choir. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a fake choir, but the voices are real. Yeah. Okay, then let's come to the part that uh, the people watching this might care about the most: the community questions and or suggestions. Uh, Venture and Blue's first question is obsolete right now because that's been confirmed right now. He asked um, if Robert, if Royale comes to normal Robocraft at some point. Um, then the, his second question was uh, where he can get the full Robocraft and I added and Royale soundtrack. Uh, ah, nice! It's on my SoundCloud page. There are all the the soundtracks that I did for Robocraft, and there are there are a lot. There there are also the the ones that I did for the trailers, and um, even the not used ones. There are the Halloween music. There are the, the there is absolutely everything. So if you search on SoundCloud for Under the Sea, you can you can find a playlist with all the soundtracks that I did for Robocraft. Okay. Uh, then his next questions: Any plans for a new set of SFX sound effects? Well, if they are going to plan for new weapons or engines, there will be new sound effects. I'm not going to to replace the ones that are, that are already there. I think they work quite fine and that's it. Are you actually working on certain sound effects for certain new stuff now? Um, stuff you are allowed to talk about or is it all top secret? Uh, at the moment, I'm working mostly on Card Life, which is our new project. And uh, well, um, 
I'm doing what is needed for Robocraft. Uh, for example, uh, sometimes uh, they add new, new small, uh, a small new content like a new screen or something like that. And if they need audio, I'm doing those things, uh, small things. And uh, I think most of my jobs in in the next months will be to integrate the audio of Royale into Robocraft because it's actually for from my point of view from the audio point of view Royale is an entirely new game so it's going to be tricky to 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 put Royale into into actual Robocraft that's it okay um, then his next question are you going to make Mechlex sound more intimidating like more heavy like more 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 uh, which question. sound sorry uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Mechlex we talked about that earlier on already no no I'm not changing anything uh, I, I worked a lot on those sounds and I'm pretty pretty happy with them no I'm, I'm uh, I'm not going to change anything if I if I can avoid it. <laughs> okay, and then after some meme was by Gromek was posted, I think you know that one, the angry squeaking Lomo. I'm going to link it right in now if I remember it, not to self link it. Um, um, when do you plan on adding Lomo frogs? Lomo what? Lomo frogs. Frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for uh, for a uh, first of April, maybe maybe one day, one one first of April can can be done. Okay, maybe re replace all bots with normal frogs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Nice suggestion, though. Nice, thank you. Uh, then there were two questions by Here You Eleven. First one, right? Well, well, why is Royale so bad? It had to become free. Uh, sorry, I had a problem with connection. I didn't get the question. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> okay, I'm going to repeat the whole thing. Then there are two questions by Hear You Eleven. Firstly, why is Royale so bad? It had to become free. <laughs> so bad? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think Royale was was quite entertaining. Uh, I've seen you well. die very often. Yeah, you die very often, but that's what happens in real royal games, and they, they are absolutely unforgiving. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why people didn't like uh, royal. I'm not a game designer, uh, but I think there are many factors to it. First of all, that um, our players are used to free stuff, so maybe maybe they expected something free instead of something uh, to pay up front. Uh, and the second is that maybe they expected something complete, which uh, Robocraft Real wasn't. The, the, we, we had to do a lot more work on it before making it complete. Maybe we just released it too early. Yeah, but many people I, I don't know actually I don't know this this is my personal personal thoughts about it but uh, luckily well I, I am just a sound designer I'm not I'm not a strategist I'm not a, a game designer I, I in the end I don't know yeah obviously maybe... any any time you release something you hope uh, that people will love it well, sometimes it, it happens that you're you are not understood by people, so it's okay. Yeah, many people actually thought that uh, Royale was not ready for a Steam release as of right now. Uh, then, oh. here, then here you second question was why isn't there MMR? What what is MMR? Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> MMR is like the uh, ranking system. You know the rank system in. Normal Robocraft? Uh huh. Yeah, that is based on MMR, like that uh, that number that rises and falls. That's the MMR in ranked. Uh... <laughs> I don't have a clue, and 
basically uh, I I don't think it's the most important feature in Robocraft. I never uh, I I never played Robocraft to to be ranked actually. So well, I don't know. Maybe maybe because well, it's not a complete game. So in the end, maybe we we could introduce something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I but... don't have a clue. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think as of right now, the player counts are just too low for some MMR system. I mean, if you, like, when it was online, if you don't even manage to get a full server, a matchmaking, some complex matchmaking stuff would be kind of pointless. Um, yeah, maybe we, we had some worse problems than MMR. <laughs> and... The last question of uh, today's interview is by Sheepwielder or by the Robocraft Royale Twitter account, which I guess to be led by Sheepwielder since he is the community manager. Why is it exactly that you can do no wrong? Eh? What, what is it exactly <laughs> that I can do? Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I get it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm God. <laughs> no, okay, I'm, uh... I'm just joking. No, it 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 was a joke that started on the um, uh, on the Robocraft forum, and everyone in turn had uh, their own haters. Uh, for example, sometimes uh, a guy would come up with a post on the forum, ah, the artwork sucks, and another time, ah, the playability sucks, um, and so on. And, <laughs> and until... while, while all these forums appeared on, uh, while all these posts appeared on the forum, uh, they were just posts of praise for the audio. So <laughs> they, they, they were just, oh, the audio, but everything sucks in the game, but the audio is nice. And I love the music. I love the sound of the new, uh, of the new weapon. I love the sound of the new legs and so on. So uh, with, uh, within a couple of years, it came up that I, I could do no wrong because I'm the audio guy and I, I'm perfect. But I must say, I had my haters as well. A guy came with a post one day and said, uh, "Ah, the music sucks. I want some uh, what do you say? Uh, some music? dubstep." Uh, what? Dubstep. What, what is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he wanted some dubstep, some very very noisy dubstep in the in the um, in the game. And I I answered point by point to to his. Uh, opinions on on the music and <laughs> uh, saying that uh, well dubstep would, would uh, annoy the people they would end up uh, uh, muting the music and so on and I ex explained so well my choices in in the composition of the music that uh, lots of people in the forums said ah you're right that that's what we wanted and in the end he he uh, apologized for the post. <laughs> he, <laughs> he himself, the author of the post, apologized for it. So that that's why I cannot I can do no wrong because because I'm perfect actually. <laughs> well, now that I am out of questions and now that Christians know who to believe in, we might also end this video. If you liked it, leave a like, uh, leave a comment telling maybe more suggestions. Maybe if we have a lot of suggestions and questions, we might do a second video of this type. If you want me to end, if you want me to interview anybody else on Free Jam, tell me that too. And most of it, and most important, have a great time. See ya. Thank you very much.